In this video, I'm going to show you around the customizer, which will give you access to global defaults. Um, there's actually a secondary space where you can do some global defaults while messing specifically with page builder. Okay, so from any page on the front end, if you click customize, it's gonna take you to a new view where on the left you get some options and on the right you can see in real time the changes as you do things to those. So presets is something we can choose. Uh, we don't mess with that too much. General, you know, you can select your background color, but this doesn't pop up too often. Accent color is something that's important. So that's what's being used here for any button that you push out, um, for any link that's on pages and stuff. So let's change that so you can see what that looks like. Let's use this as our accent color. And you'll see in real time that takes effect here. That changed our links. And you can get into these specifically through CSS if you want. But just by default, that's what happens with accent color. Headings is going to allow you to change the color and the size for all of your different headings that are available. For example, let's say we want this to be white those will go away. This color was set in our hero area. So let's actually come back over here and let's use our mm, let's use our darker color. Let's see if that doesn't mess things up the way we want. Yeah, so that's now nice and dark blue and then you'll have access to pretty much every Google font that's available. Let's just choose one random one so you can see the change. That's going to take effect in any heading area throughout the site. So in our hero area, here, down here in the footer, anywhere that we've got an H. Um, H1 font size, you know, maybe we can make that bigger. That's going to be the same on every page. All right, so let's get out of headings and go to text. So this is body text. So anywhere you see regular text throughout the site, um, this gray is a little hard to read. Let's just make it straight black. Yeah, that looks a good bit better. Um, let's go down to like something like this. Just a clean font. And let's make the font size a little bigger so it's a little easier to read. You can change the line height if you need to. It gives you these settings are going to be applied site wide. So you can see down here it modified it as well. Social links, you don't really need to use this piece here. There's easier ways to enable those through the icon groups. All right, going down through the header, this is used if you do not use Beaver Themer, which we're using to create your header. By default, the Beaver Builder theme, which we're using, has some settings here to modify your, um, your header, but we don't need this because we can actually modify it much like we would anything else with Beaver Builder. Content, same idea. You get some options here that we don't have to mess with too much. We can take over those with Beaver Themer. Footer, again, is being used by Beaver Themer. We can edit that in a different way. Widgets. So depending on what page you're on, if there is a sidebar area that allows widgets, you would see that here, and you could add stuff to it right then. Since we don't have any on the home page, we're not going to add any. If you do want to write some code, this is where you will be able to input that. So JavaScript code would just be pasted here and called. If you want to add, let's say, Google Analytics code, you can drop that in anywhere in here. So the settings, this actually pulls stuff from your WordPress install, but you can make the changes here as well. But you can access these from the general settings in the dashboard. Menus allows you to specifically say where you want each menu, but we're doing that manually through Beaver Themer. And then additional CSS, this is where you can do any CSS you want, paste it in here. It's going to be accessible site wide. If you would prefer something that's color coded, there is a plugin called Simple CSS that you can install, and you can access that from the dashboard, and it'll give you a little bit more flexibility color wise and syntax wise with your CSS. All right, so that's pretty much it for the customizer. That should help you get things moving a little bit more 
one thing about that, like let's save and publish that. So once you've got your global settings, you can overwrite those at the module level. So let's say even though my accent color is this red, I want this particular button to be a different color. I would just come modify that style directly and change this to whatever color I want. And that'll take effect for that specific module on its own. All right, I hope that's helpful.